Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today I'm going to be making pizza. I know, that doesn't sound really exciting, does it? Because, I mean, pizza, that's just a common thing people make. But I'm going to be doing this pretty much homemade. I'm going to make a crust with actual active dry yeast. I'm going to end up making my own sauce. This crust, though, has to go first because it's got to sit in the refrigerator for, well, about 48 hours before I can actually make the pizza. So we are going to start right now with this crust. I have got one cup of lukewarm water that I'm going to put in my bowl. I have a teaspoon of sugar, and I have one full package of active dry yeast. If you use instant yeast, you will probably need to find a different recipe or look it up on how to do it exactly. You don't want to do it incorrectly. Instant works a little different than the regular. I'm gonna stir this around until this gets all nice and dissolved. It seems like I have it pretty mixed up. Now, this needs to sit for about five minutes. Don't know if you can see it or not, but kind of maybe around the edges, you can kind of see it starting to bubble and foam up. This, of course, bubbles, but you can kind of see it through there, too. It's a pretty neat process to watch. The next step is to start adding the flour. Now, I'm going to add about two and a half cups of flour. I am just using an all-purpose flour, but you might want to check into the zero zero flour because I guess it's better for a pizza dough. And I've got a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just going to begin mixing this. Really the biggest thing for the dough is to make sure your yeast is ready before you start adding your other ingredients. So about two tablespoons of olive oil is what I'm using. And now I'm gonna knead this for about five minutes or so, just like this. Go ahead and add just a little bit of flour cause I'm getting a little sticky on the counter here and I don't want all my dough sticking to the counter while I'm in the kneading process. That is a nice little bowl of dough. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil down into the bottom of my bowl. Take my brush, I wanna brush it up on the sides because, well, hopefully this is gonna rise a lot and I don't want it to stick to the bowl. Put my dough in and kind of get it nice and greasy all around on my dough ball. Got a piece of plastic wrap here. Cover this up and I'm actually going to let it set on the counter for a couple of hours. I'm going to let this kind of have a little bit of a venting space. I've read different on doing this. Some just say cover it. Some say cover it and leave a little bit of or poke a hole or blah, 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 because as it rises, gases release, you know, so on and so forth, science class, things I probably didn't pay enough attention to. But I'm gonna leave it just a little loose on one side. That should be enough, hopefully, to release some gases if need be. I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for a couple of hours, and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 48 hours so i won't be taking this out it's wednesday now i won't be taking this out until friday around noon time then i can continue my process of this pizza making so i'll see you in a couple of days well hello it is friday my dough has been in the refrigerator for actually more than 48 hours i am going to Sprinkle my countertop amount. I'm, I'm gonna put this back just a little bit farther because I don't I got I need to do some other work here for this pizza. So I'm just gonna put sprinkle a little bit of flour on the countertop here. 
And I'm gonna roll my dough out onto it. A little bit sticky, not too bad. Just gonna roll this up into a nice little ball. I'm gonna let it get a little covered with the flour here. I'm gonna cover this and just let that sit there and do its thing. I need it to warm up a little bit because it is supposed to be easier to stretch and form into your round pizza shape. Gotta go ahead and work on my sauce. My only issue is I do not have the tomato paste. I'm hoping that it'll still come out okay and not taste bad. And hopefully it's not gonna be real runny. So I have one can of diced tomatoes, just under a half a teaspoon of salt. I have a half a teaspoon of basil and a half a teaspoon of oregano. I've got one teaspoon of minced garlic one teaspoon of white wine vinegar. I did not have balsamic, even though it calls for balsamic. I figured white wine would be close. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, extra virgin. Mix all that together. I'll be using my immersion blender because I want this to come out a little more smooth and I need this to actually be a little more like a sauce rather than kind of like tomato water. I think that'll be okay. It's a little on the runny side maybe, but it's not bad. It actually doesn't taste too bad either. It has a, I mean, it gives it, a, it's like a really fresh taste. I don't have one of those fancy little wedge cut things. I don't know what they even call those. I am just gonna use a butter knife and split this in half. That's good. Might not be quite half, but that's fine. I could use a rolling pin and roll this out, but I think I can do it just as well with my fingers. And then I'm going to just kind of do this and I'm going to let it stretch on its own and stretch into shape. Did go ahead and get the rolling pin out. I just couldn't quite get it straight enough or I'm sorry, round enough. Okay, I'm gonna put this onto here. Now I want a little bit of spiciness on my pizza. So I am cutting up a jalapeno and I'm gonna cut up a habanero to put on my pizza. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the seeds in this too. Okay, so that's ready. I think I'm ready to start dressing these pizzas. I'll be starting with mine. Just add my sauce first. This amount of sauce was supposed to make enough for two pizzas. When you're assembling pizza, do you put cheese on before you put the toppings or how do you do it? I usually put my cheese on last. This is hamburger crumbles, ground beef crumbles that I had frozen. And I didn't have quite as much as I thought, but that's okay because I don't really want a whole lot on mine. I'm gonna put some olives on. I love olives, especially on my pizza. Make sure you also subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps my channel out. And if you like, go ahead and hit that like button. Or if you don't like, hit the dislike button. Give me a thumbs down, a thumbs up, whatever you wanna do. Probably should have cut those in half, huh? Oh, well, that's okay. I'll try to put the habanero in between. Then for the cheese. And I am using a triple cheddar is what I'm using. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's supposed to be mozzarella, la la la. I get a lot of hate comments because I use different cheese on my pizza. But I like it. 
if I like it, then that's fine. That's all that matters. Same process. Jesse likes a lot of meat on his pizza, and since he doesn't have veggies, kind of almost needs to have extra meat, so that's fine. And finally, I'll be topping with cheese, and I'm using the same cheese, of course. These are both going to go in the oven at 400 degrees. It's already preheated. It's just waiting for me to throw the pizzas in there. I don't know how long. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I really don't know how long. I will, well, I'll put some text somewhere up here, down here, over here, over here. I don't know. Somewhere around here, I'm going to put some text and tell you how long it actually took. Once these are done, I'll pull them out of the oven. I will slice them up and plate them up and then we're going to eat them. But I'm going to show you what they look like first. Thanks so much for watching. Happy eating.